Welcome to this hour of Inner Reprogramming Yoga. My name is Charlotte and I will guide you through the practice. And first I want to honor my teacher, Yukrishi Vishvaktu and the Nachi lineage for passing on their wisdom. Inner Reprogramming as a style was developed by Yukrishi Vishvaktu to align mind, body and breath. We enter a more subtle practice of asana today. In this practice, our body follows the rhythm of the breath. We synchronize moving in asanas with slow breathing and thereby we allow our muscle memory to be reprogrammed. We step out of autopilot and reboot our whole energy system. Old patterns, stress and strain can be released. We sharpen our body awareness and relax our nervous system. Always listen to your body first and second to me. And let's set an intention for today's practice, a sankalpa. This could be something like sharpening body awareness, slowing down for the next hour or tapping into discovering your breathing rhythm. Let's come to a comfortable seated position and bring your hands in Anjali Mudra to your heart. Let's start this session together with one arm, deep inhale. Bring your hands back down to your knees. We will start with Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati is a Kriya, it's a cleaning technique, it's the sixth Kriya. Precautions, if you're on moon cycle or you've got a cold, then go slow. Sit in a comfortable cross leg position. Make sure your spine is straight, your crown is lifting towards the sky. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, you draw the navel in towards your spine. Keep the inhale passive and the exhale active. And you go at your own pace. And if you place your hand on your belly, you can feel how your navel draws in. Might be easier if you're just beginning practice. going for, for a few more breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, exhale all the way out. And deep inhale. Right, we'll start in the cross leg position. Make sure you sit comfortably. Try to find this sweet spot 
my body is perfectly balanced, both sitting bones are grounded, your crown lifts up, you create length in your spine while you're grounding into the floor. We'll start with uh, seated arms breathing. That means you just remain cross leg, long spine. On your inhale, you lift your arms up towards the sky as long as your inhale goes. And on your exhale, you lower your arms down. We go very slow. Try to have a deep inhale and a long exhale. And let your breath guide your movement instead of the other way around. So the first thing to focus on is your breath. And you synchronize your movement on your exhale. Inhale, raise your arms up. And exhale, release. On shoulder height, you can reverse your hands to f with your palms facing down to ease your shoulders. And we'll c repeat a couple of rounds here, going at your own speed in line with your breath. And bring awareness to how your body moves with gravity. Lifting your arms up, you're moving against gravity or up on. And bringing arms down, you're moving with gravity, you're releasing towards gravity or pran. Couple more rounds here. Long inhale, long and slow. And long exhale. We're retraining our muscle memory to move away from autopilot and reboot. Breath, muscle and mind synchronize. For our next asana, we'll come into table top. Cross your legs, come onto your knees, make sure your shoulders are above your hands and your hips are above your knees. This exercise is called Marjorie Kriya. It's a Kriya, so also a cleansing technique, and will move very, very slow. On your inhale, you arch your back, you bring your belly towards the floor and chest forward, looking up, and exhale, you round your spine, tucking your navel in, bring your navel up towards the spine and tucking your chin to your chest. Move as slow as your breath can go. It's a very good exercise for bringing movement and flexibility to your spine. This practice can also be done faster. But here we're trying to align muscle with breathing. So we go very slow.
let your breath flow naturally just like the, the waves behind of the ocean they come and go just be mindful of taking long and deep inhales and exhales few more rounds here at your own space at your few more rounds here at your own pace smooth inhale and long happy exhale if you round your back and create space between your shoulder blades you're retraining breath muscles and mind to work together in harmony to work together in harmony few more rounds here and the last one if you finish this last round, come to child's pose and relax here for a couple of breaths. We'll make one Brahmari sound here together. For that, you take a deep inhale and exhale to Brahmari. Mm. Brahmari breath helps to release tension to a cellular level, on a cellular level. And once you're ready, come back into table position. Next up is we're threading the needle. Raise your right arm up with your inhale and look up. And on your exhale, you bring your right shoulder all the way down to the floor. And on your inhale again, all the way, open your chest, look up. And exhale, bring your shoulder to your mat. Inhale, arm moves up. Your breath leads the way. Go as slow as possible. And exhale. All the way down. Smooth, long inhale. And long exhale. Try to match the length of your inhale and exhale. Couple more rounds on the right side before we move to the other side. Once you complete the last round, you 
Bring your right shoulder on your exhale to the ground. Deep inhale. And exhale. Mm. Inhale, raise your left arm up, look up. And exhale, bring your left shoulder to the floor. Inhale gracefully, look up. Deep inhale into your chest. And exhale, long, slow movement. We're just flowing like the ocean, like the waves crashing in. We're just flowing with our breath, naturally, slow and steady. A few more breaths. And on your next exhale, pause on your left shoulder on the mat and do one brahmari here. And slowly come back to all to table. Take one inhale here and on your exhale push yourself up to mountain pose. Feet are hip width apart, great length in your spine, shoulders away from the ears. You can slightly bend your knees if that feels more comfortable. And from here we slowly walk forward. Come into forward fold on the top of your mat. And on your next inhale raise up to a standing position. Release your arms and come to a comfortable standing position in front of your mat. We'll do a round of half sun salutation. Just do the first, the standing part of it. Inhale, bring your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, release down to the floor, come to forward fold. Again, let your gu breath guide your movement. And inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. And exhale, fold. Your next inhale, Slowly rise up and exhale, hands to your heart. And we start again. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up, side back bend if it feels comfortable, and exhale. 
Release all the way down. Fold forward. Inhale. Long spine. Look forward. And exhale. Fold. Inhale. Come all the way up. Look up. And exhale. Hands to your heart. A few more rounds here. Move in your own rhythm with your breath. And always come back to focusing on your breath first. That's the very most important part of this hour together. The movement is, is of second importance. So we're moving with and against gravity. We're moving the energy with a slow movement and slow breathing. A few more rounds here. Smooth breathing. Calm energy. By focusing on our breath first and having our body and muscles follow, we reprogram our muscle memory to move out of autopilot where often in daily life we grab our phones and our body seems to go first and only then we think about it. We'll move into our next asana, which is Chandrasana, or Moon Pose. Bring your hips, bring your feet hip width apart, and slightly bend your knees. And on the inhale, lengthen up crown towards the sky and on your exhale you'll move bending to the right and inhale go back to the center exhale 
exhale, bend to the other side. And go as slow as your body, as your breath goes. If you can't bend deep, that's all right. Just go very slow as you feel comfortable. Try to imagine you're leaning against a wall. So you're not leaning forwards or backwards. If you have problems with your shoulders, you can also just place your hands on your head and move left to right. Or you interlace your fingers and hands. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Long deep inhale. And smooth exhale bending to one side. And once you're ready, release your arms down and come to standing still for a moment and just feel your body. On your next exhale, fold forward. And then slowly come to a seated position and lay down on your mat. We're moving into Situ Bandha Savangasana or bridge pose. Here we'll slowly move our hips towards the ceiling on our inhale and on our exhale down to the floor again we move very slow inhale hips move up trying to reach a diagonal straight line with our body and exhale back down can also move your arms up on your inhale and back down on your exhale or you can simply move your hips up and down whatever feels right remember we're focused on slow and mindful breathing so it's really more of a moving meditation. Long, steady inhale, hips move up. And slow exhale. Try
try to roll vertebra by vertebra down onto the floor. And sometimes you'll notice that you moved, your body moved a little bit too fast while you're still halfway inhaling. That's okay. And in the next round, you can go even slower because you know how long your breath can go. Smooth, graceful breaths. And the last one, long deep inhale. And exhale down. Bring your knees to your chest. And move however your lower back feels good about and massage your lower back. For the next asana, bring your feet mat width apart. And then slowly on your exhale. You just let your knees fall to one side and you look the other side and you look the opposite direction and inhale, bring them back up. Exhale, slowly drop them to the other side and inhale back up. We're just flowing like the waves do. Steady and at ease. Sometimes powerful and sometimes calm. Today we'll try to move calm. Like the waves here behind. And on your next exhale, bring your knees to the right side and stay there. You look to the left. You can bring your right foot over your left knee for a deeper stretch. And we'll do one brahmari here. Long inhale. Exit to Brahmari. And inhale, release, let your knees drop to the left side and bring your left foot top of your right knee if it feels good. 
And we'll also do one Brahma here. Inhale. And exhale to Brahma. breath here. And slowly release. Bring your feet back to center. Let's take three deep breaths here. You can place your hand on your belly and breathe into your belly. And observe how your body feels after moving so mindfully for the last half an hour and once you're ready come sit uh, cross leg for a breathing exercise we will do a round of moksha kriya Part one, where we breathe through our nose in, long and strong, and exhale twice through our mouth. Go at your own pace for a couple of breaths and you can bring your hands close to your nose to help open breathing through your nose if you have problems. One inhale through your nose, double exhale through your mouth. Few more rounds. Moksha means liberation. Imagine with every exhale through your mouth you're releasing tension, strain or whatever negative thought came up during practice. <laughs> If you're familiar with the bandhas, on your exhale you can activate Muladhara Bandha, keep your breath out in Jalandhara Bandha by locking your throat 
and Uddiyana Bandha by pulling your navel up and in. Create this vacuum and hold your breath out for as long as it feels comfortable. Keep your root lock and on your inhale, release your throat lock and fill up your lungs. Keep Muladhara engaged and activate throat lock. Chandarabhand. Hold for as long as your body allows. Or five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, release all locks, long inhale, take three recovery breaths. From here, slowly find your way, laying down on your mat, come into Savasana for relaxation before we finish with pranayama. Fully relax. Open your feet, mat width, or however it feels comfortable, your arms, and open your arms slightly, and relax. Feel how your whole body sinks in and to the floor. Feeling this groundedness. Feel your feet soft and heavy. Your legs sinking to the floor. Your hips belly, release, your heart, your chest, your back sink into the floor, this feeling when you're letting yourself fall onto bed or into the couch, this full muscle release, we can consciously feel while laying here. Just feel the sensation of letting go. And often we still hold a little bit of tension somewhere. And if you focus on one area, like your neck, just feel if you're still holding on to something or if there's small parts you can relax further which allows you just to sink a little bit deeper into your mat relax your throat your face your head your arms And relax. Muscles, breath and mind 
are synchronized, are reprogrammed for calmness and contentment. Slowly come back to your body, take a few deeper inhales, start moving your fingers and feet, move your head from side to side and maybe stretch your body in every direction which feels good for you. And once you're ready, slowly come to a seated position. One pranayam practice, a lunar practice to calm our nervous system and to ground and fully relax in this calming practice, Chandra Bedana. Bring your index and middle finger to your forehead. Take one inhale through your nose. And exhale. Your, close your right nostril with your thumb. And inhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril. And exhale through your right nostril. Close your right nostril and inhale left. Close left nostril, exhale right. Going at your own speed for a couple of rounds. Inhale left. And exhale right. Five more rounds. Last inhale left. <laughs> Exhale right. And release your hand. And take three recovery breaths. And from here, we'll merge into meditation. Find, find this balance, groundedness and calmness you've cultivated over the past hour. Bring your hands in Gyana Mudra. Index finger and thumb touch. Place them, place your hands on your knees. Keep your spine straight and long. And focus on your third eye, the point between your eyebrows. Just watch your breath as it flows naturally.
We'll close the session with the Akanda Mantra. Akanda Mandala Karam Yaptam Yene Chara Charam Taparam Dashitam Yena Tatsmai Shri Guru Venama Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for practicing together. I hope you enjoyed this moving meditation. Namaste.